with a playing catch. And uh, he's at the op ophthalmologist now. And uh, we'll see if he's going to be able to pitch tomorrow. If not, we'll have to make an adjustment. Might do an opener. Everybody's an opener. I guarantee you, Cash, if he had five Snells, he wouldn't have an opener, would he? Or Archer, or Odorizzi, or Cobb, or... But, anyway. If, if Hess is unavailable, would you also add some... Would you also add another pitcher from... No, we've um, got plenty. Now we've got uh, Ramirez. You got. Or I'm gonna try to pitch. I'd like to pitch Luis Ortiz and in and out of the bullpen before we start him. So I was hoping to get him in there tonight, but I'm waiting for him to get back today, uh, David, before I scratch him from tomorrow. Um, we've also got. Uh, Yakabonis will have proper rest for tomorrow, too. A lot of these guys you brought up have been these kind of utility position guys, Valera, you know, Corbin Joseph, you know, if you see Wilkerson at some point. I mean, how do you evaluate them maybe for that position? That, you know, you guys had a tough spot, tough tough way deciding that in spring training and even yeah. into the season. Well, it's like that's why you play Valera at shortstop. You know, let's face it, the utility guy, the ability, the really good ones bring is the ability to play shortstop. You know, Valar's played more shortstop than he has second base. Valera's played more second base than shortstop, but you know, I think I got a pretty good feel for what uh, Valar can do. You know, as far as the infield, and I, I, there's still some unknown about Valera. So, like I said, there's only one way to find out. But you know, you, you know, I, I don't want to sound smug. I, you know, you can watch him play shortstop tonight, and you'll have a pretty good idea defensively. De defensively doesn't usually fool you. It's the other part of a guy. Just happens to get hot and, and does see certain kind of pitching and, and does pretty well.